Jillian Mayen here alongside Tom Deanhart. Maryland at Nebraska this week and Perry Hills questionable for this game. It's a storyline that we've heard a couple of times this season. Yeah, four times this year, Hills has been knocked out of a game with injury. Again, you mentioned last week, happened again. Again, Maryland played three quarterbacks, no continuity under center. It's really bogging down this Maryland offense. They can't pass the football. They have not been able to run the football the last two games. Against Michigan, just 78 yards rushing. Last week, only 43 against Ohio State. Next up is Nebraska. Again, Maryland's searching for some type of answers offensively. Yeah, they've really struggled. They were outgained 581 yards to 176. Just really tough, back-to-back -to -back tough losses for this Terrapins team, and they're taking on a very tough Nebraska team. Tommy Armstrong Jr., also questionable for this weekend's game. He seems to be the Huskers' Iron Man. He just keeps bouncing back, but we still don't know whether he will be back after a hamstring injury in last week's game. Yeah, tough guy, senior. He knows this is it. He wants to go out with a vengeance here in his Nebraska career. Gutted it out last week, 278 all-purpose yards in that game against Minnesota. He was a one-man wrecking crew running the ball, passing the football. They need him, Julian, because if he doesn't play, no offense to Riker Fife, but that Nebraska offense is not nearly as potent without Tommy Armstrong. And check this out. Nebraska still is finishing with a vengeance, too. In the fourth quarter in overtime, they're outscoring teams by 89 points. That's the largest differential in the nation. Certainly is very impressive. You never want to be down against Nebraska in the nope. fourth quarter. All right, Tom, thank you so much. For more Nebraska news, highlights, and analysis, head to btn.com slash Huskers. And for more Maryland news, highlights, and analysis, head to btn.com slash Terrapins.